Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Martin Shimpton, and this is going to be a tour of Google Plus on a mobile. So let's dive in. So as soon as you click and open the app, you're likely to come to the home screen or stream, and you can scroll up and down. You see a cool post there by Richard. You can plus one the post. You can click in to comment, and you can also click to share. We'll come on to share a little bit more. In a moment. Okay, so you've got the home, but let's now orientate. If you go to the upper right, you've got the option to refresh. That refreshes that stream. If there's new posts to see, which there you go, stand up paddling. Click again, you can send feedback, you could get help. You can also refresh by dragging down, and that will then refresh there. Okay, on the upper left, if you click, you'll see your profile picture, you'll see your your cover photo and you can click down and you'll be able to navigate to a Google Plus page if you wanted to and you can add or manage your accounts. If you click on somebody's profile image, you can click then on the top eye and that brings up this sort of slide card that you find across lots of Google apps and you scroll down, you see that post and you see if they've got in common and lots of other information. If you click on the plus, you can add them to your contacts. And if you click on the three little dots, you can go back, view their Google Plus profile, or you could report a problem. Now, coming back there, if I click on the dots in the upper right, this is where I find to mute or block somebody too. Right, I'll come back to the other settings in a moment. Now, coming down to the very bottom, you'll see we've got home, collections, communities, notifications, that slides out. And you've also got then just above there, the little pencil or pen, you click that and you've got the ability to send a post. Okay, so that's the orientation, that's the areas of the app. Let's go a little deeper and there's, where should we start? Let's start by looking at the bottom. Let's go to collections. Collections is now such an important factor. The first thing is that when you click in collections, you'll see that you've got feature collections. If you click on following, you'll see the ones that you're following. And if you click in yours, you'll see the ones that you've created. Now, if you want to create a collection from a mobile app, you click on create a collection, you name the collection, you choose the visibility, knowing it can't be changed after, and you can add a optional tagline and also you can well this is really cool so everyone who follows you will also follow the collection if you keep that checked there when you're done you click done now what will happen is that and i'll show you by clicking in for instance we did google if you click in you're going to give be given the option to swipe to change the color you can see that just swiping across there we go, is that working? There we go, okay, so we can change the color there. We can also choose a cover photo from, for instance, my photos, or let's have a look, let's go for one of those, and that will change it there, and click on done. So it's very customizable. But then we get down to the bottom, and you see it's got that little share button there. If you're in a collection, you're gonna share a post directly into that collection. So you don't have to choose it, in other words. It's very cool, but we'll come more into sharing in a second. Right, so that is the collections. And then coming across to, and just so you know, if you're going to follow in, let's take one here. You can choose to, for instance, receive notifications. That's cool if you click on the bell, and you could share the whole collection as well by clicking on the share button at the top, and then decide who to share it to, and the upper right, you could copy the link and you've got other options there too. Okay, so a little bit more for your collections. Right, come into communities. You've got recommended, you've got ones that you're a member of, and then you've got yours. Same principle as we had with collections. Click in to create a community and you choose public or private. And you can choose whether, if it's public, for instance, you ask people to join, or if it's a private one, whether it appears in search or not. Then same process, once you've done that, you can add cover photo, you can add guidelines and things like that. When you're in a community, if you click on the upper right, you'll have the option to, if you own it or if you're a moderator, you could edit it, you could delete it, you could share it, which will then bring up the box like that. 
and you can turn notifications on. You can also check the community settings that you have in terms of the number of posts and you can choose how many posts you have in your stream. And also you can, for instance, leave the community and you could copy the link and send that to somebody. Okay, then let's dive into a, a community that I'm a member of and just show you the same sort of approach. Notice down here, if I click automatically, I'm gonna be sharing into that community. Same principle as with collections. Okay, so we've got the home, we've got collections, we've got communities, and we come across then to notifications. They slide out on the side, and I can then, for instance, let's dive in to one there from Roland. We can see the post that it relates to and go back, and we can then choose. We could reply to posts or whatever it is. I'm probably familiar with notifications from now. And you can, if you click on the very top, or caught up and then they will disappear. If you want to see the previously read, you click and they will reappear there. Okay, so that's your notifications. There you go.